Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun. It's like it's yeah, moving it's, art, you know? Yeah, it's great. It's like you get to change. And I'm glad that when I get on the train and rush out, that people are people sick by the way I look. I'm really glad. Yeah. yeah, good. Let them get, a, they need a little shock in their lives instead of seeing everything so blah and wake so black and white. Yeah, let's wake them up a little. They need, a, they need something. The shock value is the same. Yeah. Yeah. boy and you know like just the whole thing of me having no hair it's not because I think it's a cool thing you know now it's cool to people but when I did it it was because so sick of exploitation of the female sex and right. how it's supposed to be so beautiful and it's supposed to look so glamorous and everything else I don't need hair to be to fit into a role or anything like that I know I'm happy about that. I'm gonna go in Wow. I think it's a very idealistic situation yeah. for everyone. Everyone would like to have it. It's, it's, it's like easy. psychedelic. What part is you the music know? in it? What was that? What part is the music in it? What is the music? It plays no oh, the music, part at all. The medium of expression. That's right. That's how you get all your points that's across. That's what you got to say because... Yeah. People have been doing that for a long time. It's Plus, just... too many people nowadays can't sit down and listen to somebody speak. They gotta hear something. They gotta see something. It's gotta be like moving, you know. People can't sit around.
Tattoo times. We know Krishna. Tattoo times. Here's to the ink in you. Yeah. Is this for TV? You know, everything is the least expensive. And basically, the idea was just to show the clothes and not an environment. Before, when we first opened, we were carrying the second hand and doing a few designs of our own. But now we're doing basically all of the designs of our own. And um, we're not doing any more second hand. So we've even started this year with doing dresses and skirts, which we didn't do before. These villages are so fashionable by just the people taking their own clothes and doing, um, making their own fashions out of it. So you can pick up and learn a lot from just watching the people in these villages, basically. And fashion has to do with mentality. That's why fashions change all the time, the way people think. And uh, you show that in your clothing, I guess. Wanted, for about two or three years, we wanted to have a shop with everything in it black, and we decided to move fast before it became something that was looked upon as trendy when we feel it's really something that's classic. We have a lot of different designers, mostly from the East Village. Yeah, um, local designers. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Young local designers, mostly. I think people here are real individuals and, you know, they go for their own look and they're not too um, restricted by what other people think. I've been in the East Village for eight years now. I've had this storefront and slowly developed it into the shop that it is now. I used to do a lot of manufacturing for other small designers, things like that. But I've had uh, the shop open to the public for about five years. I have a, a really nice steady following of people who really love to wear my clothes. And I work a lot with uh, their feedback and what their needs are. One of the main concerns is that they're comfortable. They're uh, very casual. Even when they're uh, for dress, they're very casual uh, and elegant. Um, but the top priority is that they're very comfortable and they're made from natural fabrics. What makes New York fashion special? There's a lot more variety in New York than it, it's allowed here. The, uh, other places I've gone, it seems a lot more restricted in terms of what's allowed to be worn. Here, anything goes. You can really, I feel, um, here I exist in, a, in the East Village where there's so many other ranges of fashion going on. There's uh, really wild, really decadent, there's vintage, there's, and I'm here too, and we all exist. <laughs> Could you describe the clothes you make? They're very um, modern, um, sort of fun, very sort of avant-garde clothing. We like to experiment with clothing as more than just um, things you wear, but actually something to uh, project your ideals and your concepts on life and uh, that sort of thing. They should be like props for theater, something very, very uh, useful form of self-expression, like art. designers that have done uh, men's dresses that you know of? Uh, on, a, on this sort of level, yeah, on a very serious, honest, open to the public level, yeah. Do you think it'll catch on? Yes. I think it's evolution. I think just as women went back to pants, men will be allowed to go to dresses as well. Also for us as designers, we have a right to do, I mean, we feel anyway that we have the right to do what we believe is, is appropriate and uh, not have to worry about what 7th Avenue thinks or any of the, uh, the rest of the community of designers that uh, we should be able to do what we feel is right. fashion is art and that gives us more freedom as designers we don't have to see what the rest of the world is doing to decide what we should do we just do what we want to do who or what are your inspirations oh American life yeah a lot of television neon signs um, you know black Americans there's a lot of things that are uh, uh, suburbs you know plastic all of that kind of stuff it's very much a part of what we do Small designer gets started in New York. Um, you open the shop. <laughs> That's a good way to start. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> you hope hard. that it takes off. Yeah.
It's my turn. It's my turn. the world. We don't care about graffiti nothing fever. like graffiti. What we say. It's my turn. We are nice. We are right. And we are one, two, out of sight. We don't the care fever about fever. you. But we know we got the right. The truth, the truth. We have to write who we is. We have to show our talents. We have to rock to the beat without a challenge. We have to go up. We got to come down. We got to climb up the L, look all around. We got to run a third rail on time. We got to look every time that we don't fall. We got to look around. We got to look around. We got to look and make. The subway sounds, we gotta call up, we gotta call down, we gotta make sure the crew is one of the sound. We gotta look around and make all the temptations, make all the crew our donation. We're all around, we rock sound, we rock to the beat, we ain't no clown. We Graffiti is just uh, a way of just getting your name around. See, because in a city like this, I mean, so many things happening. So uh, some people would like to get recognized among everyone, you know? And so many people are so popular, they want to be at least outstanding among them, you know? They want to say, hey, that's me right there, you know? Yeah, it came out really good. I mean, so the way it's shaded, the way it's done, properly done. But sometimes the way the wind, you can tell by the wind, like, the way it just carries a spray, you know? Sometimes it gives you a hard time. Yeah, you got a good shadow though. It's pretty neat though. This guy's good, real good. He's got a good effect, you know, on the spray can, that's all. I mean, not a drop or nothing out of space. It's just simply a straight line. I mean, it don't even look like it was done with a spray can, you know? Now, with trains, it's a different story because that's just names they put up in trains and a couple of artwork, you know? And like, when I used to go up on those trains, I mean, I used to get chased by the cop all the time. And every time we used to tag, I used to meet scores sometimes in the yard. 
And you know, every time he used to go a couple of spray cans and everything, we used to be tagging up or something. We used to get chased away and everything. It was kind of hard for us. That's the way most everybody starts, you know. And times we used to go to the train tracks, have a nice time over there. Even though it was risky, but when you start off like that, you do it mostly for the laughs, you know, for the risk. Mm -hmm. you know? Since you're young, you don't really care about making money out of it. You don't think you can make money out of that, you know. Just so I mean, you know, we're making something out of it. I don't know who invented it, but, <laughs> you know, it's something we got self-control of it. And something that we going for, you know, something that we know how to do. That's the only thing we know how to do. And something that we want to live for in the future. We want to fix things, not vandalize places. We just want to fix them. All right, and then you'll do Brooklyn after that. How long is that going to take you? We'll spend the whole length of this. The whole length of this one. Uh, maybe, maybe a whole day. I was working for the parks department, so they sent me every to every you know, like areas, messed up areas, or uh, you know where people would like to see a mural done. So from there, that's how I started, and I kept doing different styles. It would be that hard, you know, since it was indoors, since it's kind of big, I didn't know exactly how to do it, you know, I thought I was going to have a really hard time, but it turned out to be a nice time, I had a nice time doing this. You can see I developed and I kept growing and graffiti. If a customer wants us to do something, they tell us what would they like. So then we like sit down, we look through books, and we like we look for our animals or whatever they like that fits what they want, you know. And if it looks good, we put them all together and make one whole picture, and then we just show him the rough sketch. He likes it. I mean, we make a positive sketch of it, and that's what goes up. <laughs> This is United School 22. That was when it was fresh. <laughs> so you can see this is me in school working at a pet shop. These are Japanese magazines. Just the kind of magazines. Okay. I think it's part of the same scene, definitely. Like some people are into dancing, so they try to develop their style in dancing. They make this really something important, you know, not just throwing themselves on the floor. So the same thing with graffiti. It's not, it's not just throwing paint on the wall. It's like doing something on the wall, something. Give it a meaning, something valuable, you know. But I love graffiti, it's something, that's the only thing I know how to do is just draw. And you know, I started from there. Like, like I said, I'm not going to turn graffiti down, no matter what, you know, how much you pay me or whatever. I'm an artist, but I'm not, uh, not most likely an oil painted artist, maybe, or sculpture artist, or nothing like that. I'm a graffiti artist. And I keep every place I stand, every place I, you know, I go, I have to say, I'm a graffiti artist. Yeah, it's like a new type of art now. Like, they've, they've always had art, oil painting, so now it's graffiti with spray, spray cans, you know, and it's like developing, it's becoming a new culture and art. It's gonna keep going for a while now. Thank you.